Hey guys, it's Monday, February 6th, and I'm gonna build some furniture. Earlier I packed 30 some orders and went and got groceries, went to PetSmart for cat stuff, and yeah, now I wanna, I wanna build some stuff. Cause everything is arriving. These little guys were just delivered just now, and these two have been sitting here for a couple days. So I need to build all of this. These little ones, are the paper organizers just like that one right there. I got two more. I thought one of them could be for more paper because I do have more paper. <laughs> and then the other one could be for like my planner pads and my sketchbook so that they just have somewhere to stay forever, you know? The sketchbook store is lying around. I jump between like five different planner pads because I always lose them and then I have to find another one to use lying around. And so uh, having a nice place to store them permanently would be nice. This one here is another one of these units. And then these two are similar, but bigger. That is what it looks like. So I've got a lot to do. <laughs> oh, and my uh, big labels came in. I was using this to weigh down the table. because <laughs> When this is clamped to here, it wiggles. So I had to clamp it to a separate surface. And then I use this to weigh down the surface. But yeah, these are my labels from Canada Post. Wait, where are they? There. Whoa. So this is just one of the stacks. I got two stacks and it's free if you're a commercial customer. So yes, yes, yes. My first time getting free labels, woo. Okay, these ones were insanely quick to do. The next one's not gonna be so quick and easy. <laughs> We've got drawers to build, we got drawer rails to put on, all that <laughs> good stuff. May ever lose your stuff again. Maybe we'll put this, it's like a journal, essentially. <laughs> Maybe we'll keep that in there too. Maybe this one too. This is sort of journal-like, but it's more like planning out product launches. You. At least it'll stay that way for now. I'm like these could share a slot technically, but like, you know, we'll just go with that for now. We've got a lot more going on with this one. Four big pieces there, the back piece. These are all drawer pieces. These are wheels, which I will not be putting on. And we have the rails and the hardware. So I'm thinking I built my first one wrong. So for my first one, I had the holes aligned like this and I think it's supposed to be like this. It's supposed to be closer to the edge. It would explain why the drawers are a little bit recessed. I just thought it was supposed to be like that. <gasps> I could probably just take these drawers out and without disassembling the cube, I can reposition the rails on this one. Yeah, we might have to doctor that one up a little bit because I totally messed that up. Okay, rail swap is done. That took like 10 minutes, so it wasn't too bad. Okay, that looks so much better look at those edges oh yeah
god look at that and the drawers just clear the edge there i did pull this whole thing out by like half an inch or so the other day and now this these fit side by side look at that it's so perfect and now that i have the rails on correctly the drawers open just like a smidge further <laughs> and the area behind is still accessible from the other side oh oh it's all coming together here look at this just look at this help my drill battery died <laughs> it's not a swappable battery it's just charge so just have to wait a bit and look at this Ooh, disgusting and look at all this cardboard wow <laughs> it's the next morning and look the recycling and trash is gone christian hauled it upstairs and he loaded up the car and he's on his way to the recycling place as we speak oh yeah geek i need to continue with building these now that the charger the drill has charged also i have a major announcement last night i unlocked the golden wolf in fall guys Okay, time for the reveal. Yes! They may not be quite as fancy as the Ikea ones, but they were a lot cheaper and they look great. The height is good. Yeah, this is just perfect. I've got the nice wide drawers. It doesn't go as deep as the Ikea ones, but I do have one set of the Alex drawers over here. So I guess if I need to store something deeper, I can. I might try swapping these because this catches a little bit. I had the same problem with some of the lower drawers and I just swapped the order until it worked. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. I just swapped them and now it doesn't catch. Yoo-hoo! I like that I've got the variety of drawer sizes with these and even a cabinet like this. So it's good for a variety of storage. I know this place is still a mess, but just like look at it from this view, especially with drawers here, drawers here. It's looking so much better. Oh my God. This place is looking like less and less of a dump. Woo! Well, I suppose it's time to do more tidying. Put some stuff away in drawers, even if it's just like a temporary spot for everything. Look how perfectly these fit in here. <gasps> Keep them push it back and have more stuff in the front. <laughs> I think I'm going too slow. I'm being too picky. I need to just like throw stuff in the drawers. Okay, I just need to get it off of here and I can organize it another day. Caught red-handed. Busted. Caught on camera kicking. I will be reporting it to the authorities. I'm trying to get some level of organization in this drawer. Essentially recreating my top drawer at the old place. <laughs> I'm getting so sick of cleaning, I might have hit my limit for today. The decor is all temporary. I'm just trying to get stuff out of bins and just out. Like the pegboards are all gonna change. I've got stuff down there that is not gonna stay, but whatever. At least a bunch of stuff is out of bubble wrap and tissue paper and is visible. Wow, this is also all temporary. I'm just like, okay, that's all there for now. But it's looking amazing. There's a bit of mess over here still. Some of the stuff's out for a gallery wall still. And we got a bit of crap over here, but I just, I'm done, I'm done for the day. I don't know what I wanna do with these two units here. Cause I kinda want the Copics right in the middle, not at an angle. But then I don't know if I wanna leave that there necessarily. Cause it could go like over here. Or just, there's a, a ton of other surfaces that thing could go on with the books in it. So not sure if that's gonna stay there. That's how I want the Copics. So. Again, like everything else in this room, it's a work in progress, <laughs> but it's looking freaking amazing.
We got a couple little lazies here. <laughs> Kiki's over there. Oh, look at that stretch, minis. I gotta rub that tummy. I gotta rub that tummy. Yes, I do. <laughs> Christian was not supposed to work today, but he got called in, so he's not here. Sad. Are you waiting for your daddy? Are you waiting on the stairs for him? <laughs> Hi, baby. Time for some wrap leftovers. Look at that. We have bacon in there and the breaded chicken. Sour cream, salsa, perinase, lettuce mix, like a salad mix, cheese, some grilled onion. Um, yeah, delicious. So here I'm packing some orders and I thought I would do a little voiceover. I worked on some decky art off camera, so I'll show you what that looks like. I spent forever fussing with the line art, redoing lines over and over again, trying to get them just perfect. And I did get it perfect in my opinion. <laughs> Close enough anyway. And for the front view ducks, I really struggled because the three quarter view ducks I already had a really clean sketch. And so I just traced over it. Still took a while to get the lines right. But then with the other duckies, I just kept redoing it and like... <laughs> <laughs> me a while to do from view duckies and we have speech bubbles i'm a little ducky swimming in the water and a couple lily pads so i combined that into a sticker sheet which looks like this and that's pretty much as far as i got i started redoing my planner pad template because i currently do the 7.5 by 7.5 planners and i kind of want to do eight and a half by 11 and so the template I have is for the square size and so I'm having to redo everything from scratch. <laughs> I mean I can copy some stuff over from the other one but I have to redo all the lines because I don't want to just like scale them because they get all streaky at the ends and it looks weird and kind of just stitch a new border together. So I started working on that and didn't get very far but that's what I did and <sighs> I, I just feel like this was not the most productive week for me. I did a whole bunch of reading when I probably shouldn't have, but you know, I read nearly 700 pages, which is a lot for me. That was over like a three day span and I just couldn't stop. So yeah. And this packaging session here is a lot smaller than the one on Monday. This one was I think nine orders. So I got through those pretty quickly. So our new bedroom furniture that we ordered was delivered last night. They even hauled it upstairs, took everything out of its boxes and took the boxes with them, which is amazing because those boxes were huge. Dun, dun, dun. This was our Christmas gift to ourselves. We have the bed. I'm tempted now to get new bedding, something that goes with this a bit better, but this is what we have for now. And we got the two side tables and they plug into the wall. So you can charge your phone and stuff plugging into those. Uh, I'm kind of thinking we might want to put our box springs on here because we didn't put them on here, but the mattress is kind of low because of that, which looks nice when you look at the foot of the bed. But when you get out, this wood thing kind of like digs in because the mattress is really squishy and the headboard looks a little funny. So I might uh, get Christian to help my put those on. The only thing is I wanted those box springs for the spare bedroom and now I'm gonna be stealing them back so whoops. But I love this style of headboard. It was so hard for me to find one that I liked because so many of them are either just a big rectangle of wood or they are fabric but also rectangular but they have the buttons pushing in everywhere and I just I like the look of this one. Although I'm scared this is gonna become a kitty scratching post so hopefully not. <laughs> Yeah, we wanted to treat ourselves to a nice bedroom set that'll probably be our bedroom set for the rest of our lives. So, yeah, it's neutral enough that it should withstand the test of time. I probably won't get sick of them. <laughs> this is the chest, which is so big. It's way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Like, that's massive. It's almost as tall as I am. <laughs> uh, but yeah, very nice. Look at that. And then here is the dresser here. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It's got a little jewelry organizer in the top drawer here. Oh, it's so felty and nice. 
the chest they went a little more heavy on the distressed look i'm like is this from the west wing in beast's castle like what is this <laughs> i like it though i like it let's see this oh wow this one's got the smaller pieces like this and then the dresser has like a solid piece interesting the side tables are like that too and then the top drawer is nice and soft and now this whole room smells like this wood <laughs> so it's looking really nice in here we'll have to swap out the curtains i feel like i have to give that disclaimer every time i'm like i swear to god we did not pick out these curtains please don't judge me they're from the previous owners okay <laughs> Could maybe paint this wall to add a pop of color. Ooh, hang some art, get some lamps, change out the curtains. That they probably won't do any of that anytime soon. Christian's at work, so I'm being macho, independent woman here. Oof. Okay, that looks pretty darn good. Um, I might need a step stool to get into bed, though. <laughs> I like how I can see the, the wood on the side now. Very nice. Anyway, yep, yeah, that's uh, that's the final reveal. <laughs> what do you think, Kiki? Not a scratching post, not a scratching post. Okay, it's good thumbnail content. I just put the mattress in the spare bedroom back down on the floor, so I'm using all my muscles today. <laughs> I'm gonna go do some editing. I have to edit this vlog before tomorrow, and I'm going to see Titanic this evening. So, try to get as much editing done as I can before that. And I'm all excited to see Titanic in theaters, because I don't remember much of the last time because I was like six or seven years old. <laughs> so, I'm excited, I love that movie so much. One day I spent the entire day in bed watching YouTube videos of people watching Titanic for the first time, like reaction style videos. <laughs> I just can't get enough. And um, yep, time to go cry in the theater. I came back from the theater. I cried a lot. <laughs> oh my God. A lot of other people were crying too though. I could hear them. The theater was one of the ones with the recliners, which was so comfy, so nice, especially for a longer movie. And the people who bought the tickets next to me never showed up because the seats were taken when I picked my seat. And so I had empty seats on either side of me. <laughs> but yeah, like I was crying throughout the entire movie, almost just like on and off. Because <laughs> Even at the beginning, there'll be like a mother ushering her two children forward. And I start crying because I'm like, oh, that's the mom and two kids from later in the movie when the ship's sinking and the kids are in bed and the mom's reading them a bedtime story <laughs> right before they're about to die. Like, <laughs> oh. Plus I just love that movie so much that I just get emotional at like random parts of it. So yeah, very cool seeing in theaters. It was also, in 3d but it was like a subtle 3d it wasn't an annoying 3d which is nice because some of the trailers oh i was struggling through the trailers like getting motion sick it was like the little mermaid and her her fins like flap in everywhere in the camera and i'm like i'm gonna throw up or like mission impossible everything's moving so fast i was like please oh my god i'm gonna hate this but then once titanic started it was fine probably because it wasn't filmed for 3d which really helped i think <laughs> but yeah we had the vhs of that movie growing up so i've seen it a lot and also saw it in theaters when i was a kid although i don't know if i even stayed awake for the whole thing <laughs> i've just i've been obsessed with it for so long probably one of my, like my, my top five favorite movies like one of the ones i can just rewatch over and over again <sighs> so that was fun christian could not come because he had to work and he's still at work but he should be home soon and I could only get tickets for today. I don't know if the other dates were just sold out. I feel like usually you can see other dates even if they're sold out, they're just like grayed out, but there was nothing. I even checked a different couple, like a couple different theater companies and I could only get tickets for today and there were two show times. So yeah, went by myself, poor chip. I don't mind going by myself. It's just that he agreed to go with me and then we're like, wait, the times don't work. <laughs> um, yeah, now what I've been editing 
today and I was just doing more editing just now and thought I should talk about how Titanic went and I'm not sure there's a whole lot else to say. Tomorrow's a stream day, although I don't know. I do just the one stream a week these days on Fridays, but I'm like not always in the mood to play games, but I'm not always in the mood to do anything on stream. Like I know I want to stream and I want to chat with everybody, but I'm like, I don't want to do art on stream. I don't want to do like a room organization stream. I don't want to do a game stream. Like I just find myself less drawn to my games lately. So I don't know. I can see how I feel in the morning, but like I could always cancel the stream and just not have one, but. Well, time to add these clips to the end of the vlog. And uh, that's all I really have for you for this week. So <laughs> thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. And I didn't have quite the color I wanted compared to my Photoshop thing, even though I knew the colors would not be perfect, but my yellows were either too yellow, like a little too on the green side, or I had colors that were too pinkish. And so I decided to combine two. So I'm using E50, which is too pinkish, and then Y2, 